welcome to my soapy kitchen today we are going to be making a finishing spray uh, makeup finishing spray or if you want a little bit of a, a heavier duty moisturizer then this will fill that bill as well so today we are going to use my pumpkin hydrosol which I made fresh and the pumpkin hydrosol is going to be the bulk of this formulation so we're going to use about 90, 87%. If I can hit that. Oh, look at that. I did it. Woohoo! In one. Yay. <laughs> so the pumpkin hydrosol was made from the seeds and the skin and the innards of my pumpkins. And that, that was that was really cool to see how that came together. Now, we're also going to be using a fig glycerite. Now, here's where a lot of our moisturizing is going to come from. That's what the fig glycerite turned out like. Um, I'm going to add quite a bit. Uh, this is a lot different than my than my toners because I actually wanted to provide a set like you would a hairspray. So this is a makeup setting um, solution. And this is a lot actually. I use quite a bit of this. Got a little mix. Now, once again, I do leave the goodies in my my, um, my glycerites, and as you can see, there's no growth. I made that quite a while ago, so I'm going to strain this next, and then we will add the rest of the ingredients. All right. So the fragrance I've chosen is peaches and mint, and we just need a few drops of this. I want it to be a little bit refreshing and a whole lot peachy. So bring out those natural fig fragrance and the pumpkin to get the freshness factor up. There we go. Let's see if that's enough. Oh yeah, that's perfection. So it's about 10 drops or 0.3%. I don't have to look at that. All right, so the next ingredient we are adding is our honey pot. And we are also going to need a few drops of polysorbate 80 or polysorbate 20, your choice. All right, let me see which one I've got handy. I use more 80 than 20, so looks like I've got lots of 80 right here. I love using the 80 in my bath bombs because then it makes my bath bombs like, there we go, like lotion. It's great. So we're going to give this a little mix. Let me grab my immersion blender Connie used the smaller one and I'm going to use this this top Now for our last two ingredients, we're going to add a little bit of 
zhuzh to it. So we add some honeyquat for the skin and seaweed extract. Now I will be, have been working on a seaweed extract formulation. So I hope to have that you know, ready for you as well, because I always think it's nice to be able to make your own ingredients. So we're just going to add about one gram of that. There we go. And one gram of our honey pot. Now, this is part of my serum collection. So I have a facial care serum collection coming out that I have been developing over the last several years. I tested it on myself for over a year before I even started offering it to friends and family. And this is the last step. So this is actually a fifth step or a fourth step, depending on uh, whether or not you wear makeup or not. If you you like wearing makeup and you want a finishing spray this is an add-on so I'm just going to get rid of the bubbles and I can do that very easily just by giving it a little spritz and that's just a little bit of like alcohol ethanol since we have it in the house we may as well use the ethanol <laughs> Alrighty. I'm just going to bottle this up and then do a test right here with you. Okay, here we go. Let's just fill some big glycerate right there. The bottles. One. Two. Now I make these bottles smaller because I don't use my finishing stripe ray nearly as often as my toner and I use a lot more toner than I do finishing spray. I literally use one little squirt of this. I'm trying to get it all over my face. Okay, everything's full. I'm just put that in there for the Go get a few more bottles to clean them and get them up here. All right, so this is the bottle for our fig and pumpkin peach mint finishing spray. So I'll have to come up with a really cool name for this. I don't know, something to do with summer and fall, end of fall, end of summer, <laughs> harvest season. I don't know. You guys got a good name for me? <laughs> oh, if you can come up with a really great name, I will send you one if I use it. <laughs> All right, so let's do the demo. All right, so I'm just going to reposition this camera so you can see my face. And okay. we'll try this out. Oh my goodness, that feels so Ah, so sweet and so refreshing. If you enjoyed this, please click like and subscribe and come on back to My Soapy Kitchen anytime. Right now we are doing beauty creations and enjoying the fruits of our labor this early, late summer, early fall. Bye for now.